Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you something delicious you can do for a great Mother's Day treat. What mom wouldn't love a homemade breakfast in bed from the ones that she loves? Especially if your mom is the one who's always preparing your meals on a daily basis, I know she would definitely appreciate this break from the kitchen. I am going to show you how to make a simple yet delicious breakfast all in one pan and a breakfast mocktail to go with it. So if you want to learn how to make this yummy breakfast, then go ahead and keep on watching. These are the ingredients you're going to need. Six slices of bacon, six large eggs, some melted unsalted butter, about three tablespoons, six to seven white or wheat sandwich bread, depending on the size of the slice, and some salt and pepper for seasoning. To start, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And while that's preheating, let's go ahead and cook up some of that bacon. So while your bacon's cooking up, go ahead and grab those bread slices and with clean hands, press them down firmly so they flatten out. If you don't feel comfortable using your hands, feel free to use a rolling pin to get them as flat as you can. And once they're flat, grab a four inch round cookie cutter. I unfortunately don't have one, so I'm improvising and using this one cup measuring cup to make my circle slice. Just press down firmly. Remove the excess and Once you have your circle slice, just go ahead and set that aside. You want to keep this part um, of the bread, and you'll see why in a bit. So just go ahead and repeat those steps for the rest of your slices. Okay, so once you have all your circles cut out, grab a knife, and you're going to want to cut them all in half, like so. Okay, so now once those are cut in half, grab your cupcake tin, and with the melted butter, you're gonna wanna lightly coat butter around six of the tin. Because I'm using a cupcake tin that holds 12 cupcakes, I am going to butter every other tin for our little toast breakfast. done cooking, you want to go ahead and put them on a paper towel to drain all the oil. You don't want to cook the bacon all the way through because it's going to cook more when you throw it in the oven. So you kind of want them to be not so crispy when you take them out of the pan. So now while your bacon is draining its oil, you're going to take these halves that you just cut and you're going to paste them in the cupcake tin with the round side sticking up like this. And as you can see, there is a little um, gap missing at the bottom. This is where the excess bread that you save comes in hand. And you're just going to pull off a piece of that and kind of just stick it in the middle to cover that hole. Like so. And just repeat the steps for the rest of the tins that you buttered. So now once all your bread cups are made, you're going to want to take that melted butter again and put a coat of butter on each of the bread so it toasts up nice and golden when you toss them in the oven. Now, for the next part, grab your bacon and we're going to put them directly in the center of your bread cups. And it's completely fine that they're sticking out um, of the bread cups. Okay, so once all your bacon is inside the bread cup, you're going to want to grab your egg and break them inside. 
directly on top of that bacon. Like so. So now grab your salt and pepper and just slightly season each of the bread cups. And once you've done so, let's go ahead and toss them in the oven to bake. You're going to want them to bake in the oven for about 20-25 minutes. So let's just set that timer and wait for them to cook it up. Now once your eggs are fully cooked and the bread is slightly toasted, Go ahead and grab a little butter knife and, and run it around the edges of the bread cups just to loosen them up a bit. Once you've done so, go ahead and pull them out and just place them on a plate. Now to make the breakfast mocktail to go with it, you, all you need is one pitcher, some ginger ale, you're going to need pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, or if you don't like the taste of grapefruit juice, you can use white grape juice if you'd like. And that's it. So for this recipe, it's about a two to one to one ratio. Two parts ginger ale, one part grapefruit juice, and one part pineapple juice. So depending on the size of your pitcher, go ahead and pour that ginger ale so that way it's two parts ginger ale. Basically, you're going, you're going to want to fill your pitcher up halfway full of ginger ale. Now grab the grapefruit juice and go ahead and fill that up one third of the way and then the rest with pineapple juice. I'm also adding some frozen raspberries into my breakfast mocktail just so it looks pretty and when the raspberries melt in it, it gives it this sweet flavor as well. So if you'd like you can go ahead and pour those in. Now give it a quick stir and then pour it in a glass. This is a simple breakfast and bread recipe that you can do for your mom or any loved one. It's super, super quick and easy and you have most of these ingredients anyways in your home. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon. Till next time, enjoy. I'm recording this. <laughs> <laughs>